On March 18, 2024, Officer Ashley Hayes of the Teton County Sheriff's Office noticed a couple waiting longer than usual at a gas station and followed them. She also claimed that the couple had changed drivers during the trip, which was suspicious to her. Officer Hayes then followed the couple to the post office, called in a narcotics dog, and conducted a search. The encounter was captured on body camera. to talk to you. So you're at the gas station for a really long time and yeah. then pulled over, switched drivers. So why are you avoiding us? Um, not at all. Actually, not you just went all. down the wrong road because I was going to go to the thrift store. The thrift store over by Citizen 33? Yeah. It's not even close. Well, I'm not from here, so like, Excuse me. it wasn't a big deal. Like, it wasn't you are though. You've been around here before. It was, a, I just turned too soon. Gotcha. Yeah. So the thrift store is like half a block away from where you turned down and then you guys switch drivers. Why'd you switch drivers? Does he have warrants? No. Who is he? My boyfriend. Okay. Ben. Ben what? Crazy. Crazy? Okay. Is there anything in the car that you guys are uh, hiding? No. no. Do you mind if I check? You can do whatever you need to do. Okay. Although, in this case, Officer Hayes' request for a search was granted. In many circumstances, you have the right to refuse a police officer's request for a search. This right is protected under the Fourth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which protects against unreasonable searches and seizures. However, there are exceptions, such as when an officer has a valid search warrant, probable cause, or your consent. In Florida v. Jimeno, the Supreme Court held that a suspect's consent to a search of a vehicle extends to closed containers inside the vehicle where the officer has reason to believe drugs are present. In Georgia v. Randolph, the Supreme Court emphasized the importance of individual consent by ruling that a search is not permissible under the Fourth Amendment if there are two people in a home and one consents to the search while the other objects. 2722, heaven step out, Teton 22, I'm going to search. Actually, you know what? You have to call my lawyer. Okay. You have to call my lawyer. Sounds good. You can't go back into that car, though. Okay. The post office. And Teton 22, can you get a canine around? Hey, guys, so while you're here, I'm going to have you put your phones right here. You step out of the vehicle, please. I'm not giving you permission to touch my car, actually. That's okay. Yeah. So you're gonna put your phone down here though, and he needs to get out. I'm calling my lawyer. I'm not gonna put my phone down. I'm not doing anything. Lawyer, so you guys can put the phone down no, for I'm right calling now. My, I'm calling my lawyer. Right call my lawyer. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. I have that right. Thank you. you don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Persons arrested or detained have the right to a lawyer or to request one from the state. But in the current situation, since there is no detention yet and everything is consensual, we cannot discuss whether there is a right to a telephone call or not. But the fact remains that the reason why the police are so strict, especially with regard to the phone, is because of the possibility that the suspect may call someone on the phone to give location information and attempt to harm the police. So they may not allow you to talk on the phone for their own protection. But there is no law that says you cannot do that. To get back to the point, even if the officer has a suspicion that a crime has been committed, this suspicion will probably not be accepted as valid by any court. This is because overstaying at a gas station is not a crime. 3322, can you come to my location? What do we, what do, we do? Why do I don't know you guys. I don't you know you guys are calling your lawyer. I'm asking you guys nicely to put the phone down. What is, why no. are you If this not, then I'm going to have to detain you. What you well, you guys are detained. What are you approaching this for? Because you guys were at the gas station for an abnormal amount of time, then you guys saw me, and then you pulled off over to the Citizen 33 uh, parking lot, and then you guys switched drivers. Okay, I've asked you guys nicely to put the phones down. That's a right. You guys do. 
not us right this just, moment. An, an abnormal time? We were you guys, I don't know who you guys are talking to. Call okay. him my lawyer. Say that again. We were at the gas station for an abnormal time. Say that again. We were at the gas station for an abnormal time. At I have the right to film this right now. Yeah, you do. Okay, thank you very much. That so, being said, you guys are being detained. Because so we were at the I gas station detained. for an abnormal amount of time. Because you guys were at the gas station for an abnormal amount of time. I used to work there. You know that, right? We were, over we were scratching and scratchers. Okay, so you guys scratchers. ask me a question. Do you want me to answer this question? Do you want me to argue? Yeah, but that's no. You have no right to pull us over for that. I'm sorry, or to either come or to even come approach us for and detain us. Well, you're telling me I'm detained. Why? Why am I being detained? Have I broken the law? Yep, we are calling for canine unit. I have broken the law. That's what you're saying. You believe that I've broken the law. Yep. Okay, so that's why you're calling a canine unit, and I'm being detained right now. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, I have reasonable suspicion that there is criminal activity. <laughs> reasonable what suspicion. What is that reasonable about? suspicion exactly, ma'am? I already told you guys. That we were at the gas station for an abnormal we were at the amount gas of time. Station. And we were pulled over. Abnormal amount of time. Okay. You guys saw me. You guys pulled over. Actually, you pulled out before we pulled over. No. Yeah, you did, actually, because I saw you in the back mirror in the rear view mirror. Okay, we can argue about that. Oh, we don't have that to argue about sense. it. I know the facts. Ma'am, I cannot have you on the phone right now. I'm calling my you lawyer. You don't have the right to tell us. You have, if I, you want to, I'm no, we have the, words, Yeah, we have the right to speak to our lawyer right now. Sorry, we do. Me, so. Yeah, sorry. Okay. We have the right to speak that to our lawyers right though, now. I don't know who you are calling. Thank you. I'm calling Sean. While police have wide latitude during investigations, reasonable suspicion is a legal standard that requires an objective justification. Here, there was no traffic violation or criminal activity observed at the gas station. An example of reasonable suspicion is the famous Terry v. Ohio case. In that case, the Supreme Court allowed an officer to make a short-term detention based on certain observations that pointed to criminal activity. In this case, where the couple stayed at the gas station for an extended period of time, there is no such clear evidence. While officers can develop hunches, reasonable suspicion requires more than a feeling. Okay. Martin Birch's office is actually right over there. 3322, can you expedite this? Okay, so we will corroborate. I mean, we're not, oh, we're we're not trying not. to pat. I'm going to pat you down for trigger. weapons, make sure Why? I'm not going to... Because I have the right to do that. Um, no, you I'm don't actually. Yes, you don't have the right, right to touch me. Can you get over here, please? You don't have the right to touch me. If you're going to be detained, then I have... Why am I being detained, sir? What law have I broken? She told you. That I pulled out of the gas station and then I pulled over. Okay. That is not a law. I'm going to pat you down for weapons, okay? I have no weapon. Well, I have a knife. Okay. Okay. Can you keep your hands up for me? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that on your on your car, okay? I will hand it to you. I don't want you to hand it to Well, then you're not going to touch me, sir. I have a knife in my pocket because I was scratching. So, think about it. Please, I know the law. I want a canine. Doesn't matter what kind of way, but I'll get one here. I'll pull that out. Fine. And just put it on the car. That's the last time you're going to touch me. Do you have any other weapons? No, I do not. Okay, would you mind pulling up the back of your shirt for me? Just show them the back of your waistband. Not being, not trying to be a bitch or anything like that. Honest to God, no. honest to God, it, it's just because I don't want you calling anybody here to like come shoot me or anything like that. I'm not. Okay. You cannot approach us and do this. You cannot do this. I'm checking you the mail. You guys don't have to talk to me right now. We guys, you guys can't get back into your car right now. You guys are being detained. Okay. For what? I'm just what? saying I don't want. I'm, I'm being calling detained? anybody for what to come here. What have I done wrong? Okay. I haven't broken the law. Doesn't matter. I haven't broken the law. Okay. First of all, this is harassment because I don't think you guys really understand your laws and our rights. And right now, you're violating our rights okay, because you're holding, you came over and approached us, and now you're telling us we're being detained for nothing. I what, already what told you. What, what, I already told you. I have reasonable to, suspicion to detain you. Reasonable suspicion to detain you for what violation of what law have you? Because reasonable you guys are suspicion. Avoiding me. We're not avoiding you because we pulled over. Yes. That has nothing to do with you. And then switched. We pulled over. And then switched drivers. Okay. And then came back on the road when you guys didn't think I was following you anymore. And that's okay. that against the law? That's no, stupid. but it is well, super stalking. atypical. That's, that's harassing. Stalking. That's, that's profiling harassing. also. That's profiling and stalking. Hello? Hey, Sean. I'm here with the police, and she is uh, trying to detain me as for whatever suspicion she might have. 
because I was at the gas station for too long. And so can you please talk to the cops? Because you're already watching. I'm here right now. Too long. That makes sense. I mean, here, here right. she's on the phone right now. Like, please. I'm, I'm not under, I'm not under She's trying to arrest me, and I was seriously going to check nope, my not mail. Under arrest right now. Not so they're bringing. Arrest. There's Sean. They're saying we're being detained, and they're going to bring the okay. drug dog to our view. Sergeant Allison, both of you sit on the curb right now. I'm sorry. I sit on the curb. We don't have a right to lawyer. say anything. I can't hear you detaining you. Sit on the curb. No, you can't detain us. This is our lawyer. We talked about it. Not sir. Not All right. Sit on the curb, or you're under no. arrest for resisting. I have done nothing. Sit on the curb. What have I done, sir? Sit on the curb. Can you tell me what law I broke? Sir, sit on the curb. Will this be over? I'm not going to. Sit on the curb. What have we done wrong? We are calling for a canine. I don't curb. care about the canine. There's a lot. Sir, I'm ordering you to sit on the curb. Ordering me? Yes. Can you please talk uh, to the lawyer? We're not in the military. I was in the military, but thank you very much. You okay, okay. okay. Hey, oh, my fucking God. Watch her. Let her walk away. This is fucking unbelievable. This is fucking unbelievable. You guys are fucking pathetic. You know that? You know that? You guys are violating sir, people. I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Stuff needs to change. You do whatever you want. Call Bart now, please. Call Bart, please. They're arresting me. For what? Nothing. No. I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, I've no asked her several people. times. Okay. Hey, do you have to take your phone? I don't want you calling other people. I understand that you're trying to talk to your lawyer. He has the right to call his lawyer when it's reasonable. Right now, it is not reasonable. So I'm going to take your phone right now. I'm not consenting to any searches, and That's I'm not okay. consenting to Thank any you. I'm not consenting to any I have no representation That's now. Okay. It's illegal. Where's okay. my lawyer? Where's we're my lawyer? Sure. We're not asking any more questions. He has the right to talk to his lawyer. lawyer. He does. Yes, when it's reasonable. So when earlier when I was saying, hey, you guys can't be talking to people right now, it's not reasonable that is for us reasonable. to be able to talk to By law, we have the right to exercise our rights and talk to you our lawyer. You do have the right to only exercise your rights. Lawyer. That being said, when it causes me and public safety, or and the public, it's not a, a dan uh, danger. Right, but I don't know you, right? Is that fair? I don't know you. I don't know him. I'm saying, hey, you guys were being super weird, super suspicious. We were not being weird at all. We were sitting at the gas station doing scratches. Did you come in and look? Did you actually We actually had people How come you pulled over and look? swapped drivers? Which you I went to you. the wrong We, we were going so how to you the, swap drivers? Just what because we man? swapped drivers. Don't answer. Why? Don't answer. I'm not right talking. Okay, she's Don't done answer. talking. Is this enough back for you? She has a lawyer to up. Is this enough back for you? Oh, well, it's not all yet. So I spoke to Criminal the lawyer. Is this enough back for you? Okay, well, I'm just letting you know that I'm going to run a dog around the car. Okay, any problems with my dog touching your car or anything else for Yeah. Okay, well, I just want to make sure what's your name? Chandra? All right, thanks, Chandra. Okay. I already pointed it out to him earlier. Well, there's a truck. Oh, nothing.
Imagine someone walking down the street, casually glancing into store windows. This doesn't justify a police stop. Contrast this with someone lingering outside a specific jewelry store, repeatedly peering inside and meeting with another person focused on the same store. In a high crime area, this behavior could create reasonable suspicion for an officer to investigate, as established in Terry v. Ohio, which requires specific, articulable facts suggesting criminal activity. Simply knowing your rights isn't always enough to prevent infringement. If you believe a police stop is unjustified, be prepared. Know your rights, record the interaction, and seek legal counsel if necessary. Many incidents go unreported, allowing questionable police actions to persist. Understanding reasonable suspicion and taking appropriate steps can help protect your rights. On October 12, 2021, Corey Jones, a resident of Pope County, Arkansas, was doing yard work on his property using a headlamp and a corded halogen light attached to a tree. A neighbor saw him and called the police, reporting him as a suspicious person. Sergeant Damon McMillan and Deputy Hayden Saffold of the Pope County Sheriff's Office responded to the call. After speaking with the neighbor, they entered Mr. Jones's property and approached him. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Walking along the fence out there, and uh -huh. wouldn't identify himself, wouldn't tell us what he was doing here. And he's freaking the horses out. Yeah, I pulled up. I worked nights, and I pulled up to feed the horses, and I was all the way in there. Uh -huh. I heard a crackle. And he was over, it's a guy in a white t shirt. Uh huh. And he was back over there, like with the T posts. Yeah, right up back over there. Uh huh. And he was there for probably 10 minutes. And I hollered out the window after I got in and locked the car. And I hollered out the window, What are you doing? What are you doing? And he said something. And then I watched. He went back and forth and like was shining and went back and forth and then and then I think it went back over there and I don't know whether he went along the fence line there. I'll see you. What are you doing? Get over here. You don't want me to see. You might want to turn the light off. The police, come here. It, he's not over there. He just tied the light to a tree. They're kidding. Looks like it. There's a light on the tree. So I'm sure that's probably what he did. What the heck was he doing? And I, I mean, it's fine. It's not our property, but it was right. just so close. And it, well, it just scared me. Well, it's know? probably scared him that I'm here. But I'm sure he's going to pop out of the wood line during the day, and I'm going to get a call on him walking down the road. I'm not going to go over there. What are you doing? Well, how's it going? The neighbor called. You live out here? Yeah. What are you doing out in this wood? I know you hear me. Yeah, I hear you. So what are you doing out in this wood? Um, I'm just hanging out, you know. Well, you're trespassing. <laughs> I'm not trespassing right here. You're not? Whose property is this? <laughs> this is my property right here. It is? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, what are you doing in here scaring this old lady at 5 o'clock in the morning? Well, what? I just figured, you know, it'd be a good time to get started. Get started doing what? On my work. What work? I'm working right here. You are? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you live here, right? Uh-huh. What's your address? Yeah. Um. I understand. What? What's just since you guys approached me? Uh huh. I feel a little strange right right here. I don't mean no harm right here. I'm gonna come right here. She's saying somebody's trespassing. Do you live out here? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. What's your 
What's your What's your name and badge number? I can't quite see it. It's Hayden Saffold, 1602. Saffold? Saffold, yes. 1602. And you, sir? Do you live out here in the woods or house? What's your name and badge number? What's your house? Where's your house at? I, I was curious of your, I mean. Well, I'll are you totally not, understand uh, that, and I'll tell you in a minute, okay? I know you're recording me. But you got to understand, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Do you live in these woods or do you live in a house? You guys approach me. I mean, you could you could because tell me. right now, I believe you're trespassing until you prove otherwise you are committing a crime. Well, is this America? Are we innocent until proven guilty? You're telling me I'm guilty of well, trespassing right here? I'm asking you your address. Because I want to know if you live on this property. Because you could just be telling me that. I have the Fifth Amendment right. I don't have to answer any questions. I would like to alleviate you guys' as, um, worries. So you can't prove to me that you live on this property? Uh, sure, I could. Okay, well, then you probably need to do that. Or you're going to arrest me? Might have to, yeah. The officer informed Mr. Jones that he could be arrested if he didn't prove he owned the property. However, Mr. Jones wasn't legally required to prove his ownership or help the officers with their investigation. He could still be arrested if the officers had enough reason to think he was trespassing. To convict Mr. Jones of trespassing, a prosecutor would need to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, which wouldn't be possible since he owned the land. However, the standard for an arrest is lower than for conviction. The officers only needed a reasonable belief that an offense was being committed, which is known as probable cause. If they arrested Mr. Jones for trespassing after he refused to prove ownership, a court might find they had enough reason for the arrest, even though he couldn't be convicted of trespassing. I mean, can you not see that I'm out here doing work? We can see that, but she called because she's saying that you're on her property. And I've been out here for 30 minutes yelling, and you didn't come out until now. Well, I've got to get my kids off to school. No, I didn't. I've been back and forth. I've, I've right. carried some stuff up here to get what ready I'm to work. You. you live here. You live in a house, right? What's your address? Sir, honestly, I don't want to answer any more questions because... Okay. you understand you've been accused of trespassing. Now, if you can prove to me you live here, then I'll leave. Well, whose property is this? That's what I'm asking. Can you prove Maybe you should ask property? the complainant. You haven't even given me your, your name or your badge number. Did you do all this at 5 in the morning to get me out here? No, I, I did not video? get... No, I didn't. Because I think you might have. No, I don't even intend to post this unless uh -huh. it goes the wrong way. I mean... So if you get what you want, you won't post it. But if you no, get not. Listen, sir. I, I, no, this is not my intention bad. with this video to make you look what bad. What are you doing? I am... I am. It's not often we get people wandering around in the woods at 5 a.m. scaring people. What I want to know is, do you own this property and what is your address? It's a simple question that I am allowed to ask because right now I think you're trespassing. Well, I'm also allowed to not answer it if, if I don't... So you answering the question could prove I, you innocent, but you're not going to, right? I have I have the Fifth Amendment right, sir. You have the Fifth Amendment right not to prove to yourself not... innocent. I don't think you want to tell me your address because I don't think you have one and I don't think this is it. The officer told Mr. Jones he had to identify himself due to the trespassing accusation, but Arkansas law doesn't require this during police stops. The state's loitering law, which does require ID in certain situations, didn't apply since Mr. Jones was on his own property. The officers had little evidence of criminal activity. The neighbor didn't know who owned the property, and the officers didn't verify ownership before approaching Mr. Jones. With no solid reason to suspect a crime, a court might find the detention unconstitutional. Well, sir, you're mistaken. Second, okay, let's go this way. What's your name? Are you going to arrest me for loitering on my property? No, I'm going to write your name and see what your address is. I have a right to do that because you are accused of a crime right now. So what's your name? So have I not dispelled your, your suspicions? Yes or no? No, because I don't even know who you are. Is it a yes or no question, or are you going to tell me your name or not? If you gotta get your kids, you gotta get your Yes, I do. Am I gonna be arrested if, if I do not tell you my name? Yeah, probably. Really? Because I don't know where you live at, and I don't know if you belong on this property. Sir, I live right here. I belong right then here. tell me your address. Tell me your name so I can run it. I'll tell you my address. My address is 311 Terra Villa. Okay. 
And what's your name? Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my name? You're accused of a crime. You have to give me your name so I can know whether you're supposed to be here or not. You could just be telling me that. All you're doing, and I think what you did this morning was wanted the police out here. So no, I don't want the video. police out here. I've got I've got work right. I'm trying to get done. I've got to leave to go Good. off to work soon. I would like to go off and go do some work too, but I'm still dealing with you because you're pulling this anti-government stuff on me. Tell me It's your not anti-government. This is my place. Okay. Prove that to me by telling me your name. What was your name? I will tell you in a minute. I asked first, you tell me your name. Are because you a re me, are you required? It's, 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 yes, I am. Look at the flip side of it, man. What what if you called us? Yes. And some guy just said, "Oh yeah, this is mine. Bye. I won't tell you your name." Because all we got How do, do I know that? How do I know what you're telling here. me is true if you can't tell me your name or won't? Because you're out here getting started work on early. I completely understand that. But right now, all we have is we know she lives there. She's called. And well, I'm sorry that I alarmed her. Well, that, okay. that, that's all. That's only reason. And I'm sorry that stuff, we got off on the wrong foot. You're giving me a hard time. Well, you haven't and you're told doing me it on purpose, and you know that you are. I know that I have rights, sir, and I don't like them to so, be infringed upon. Let me upon. ask you this: If you called and somebody was on your property, and I came out, and the guy said, "Oh yeah, it's mine. You have a nice day. I'm not telling you anything." Maybe, I, no, hold may, on. May, and I drove off, and you said, "Well, why didn't you do something with that guy?" And I said, "Well, he refused to tell me his name. You'd be happy with that, right?" I don't know this is your what, property. What I would suggest, what I, what would, suggest, I would suggest, sir, is maybe, maybe you get with her, one of you guys. I mean, if you want to hold me here and detain me, I understand. If you want to get with her and just make sure that this isn't her property, uh huh. And maybe well, you're you on the wrong. You can prove it's yours. I can prove it's mine. Then tell me. Your I don't name. intend to answer any questions. Okay. Hey, you're under arrest. I'm under Put arrest. Your hands your back. Yes, sir. But until we know. Am I detained or am I under arrest? Right now you're detained until I figure out who you are. My wife is asking to sleep. I need to get them to school. Why don't you take my phone? Because you're under arrest. You told me your name might have been gone 10 minutes ago. But this will make for a great YouTube video, won't it? Which way you want to go? How do you do it? you want to do Huh? Your property, obviously, isn't it? No, it is not. Well, we're going this way. Anyway. Would you like? Would you like me for me to go? I want you to walk this way so we can go to my car. Are you going to release me if I give you my name? Well, I've asked you how many times and you've refused. Well, we're going to go down there. We're going to run you, your sir. fingerprint. I've no? also asked you your name and your badge number. No law says I have to give you my name. It'll be on your arrest report. Is it, is it not in your policy? No, it's not. So. Are you telling me that if I give you my identification right now that you'll let me go? I'm telling you that if I can identify you and prove that you're not committing a crime by trespassing on this property, I might let you go. And we could have done this 20 minutes ago. Now I'm thinking you're having some mental problems and we might need a screening. Why are you doing this? Why are you making it so hard? I think you did it on purpose so you could get a video. No, I and didn't. That's communicating a false alarm. No, I didn't. Then what are you doing? I'm working. Anybody with, okay. And when the police show up, go, hey, my name's Bob. I live here. Okay, great. I would have left. All you're doing is making this hard on yourself. You think you're being funny? Because you're not. Lots of other work I could have been doing. But I just can't take your word, oh, this is fine, bye, officer. I'd look like a real idiot, wouldn't I? Was I doing anything wrong? Yes. The officer suggested that Mr. Jones might have mental health issues and threatened to have him psychiatrically evaluated. Arkansas law allows police to take someone into protective custody for psychiatric evaluation if they pose a clear and present danger to themselves or others. This is known as involuntary commitment. However, the law defines a clear and present danger as someone who has attempted or threatened serious harm to themselves or others. Since Mr. Jones did not exhibit such behavior, he did not meet this standard. Therefore, if the officers took him for evaluation, a court might find this to be an unlawful seizure under the Fourth Amendment. You were accused of it, and until I can prove that you're not, by simply giving me your name and I can get your address, we would have left. 
you're the one keeping me here this long. Because for some reason, and I don't know why, you just want to make this so hard. Why? Are you just anti-government and hate the police? What? No, I'm pro-civil rights. Well, right now, all we hear so, is her sign, man. You're not, you're not hit like, we're going. Look at it from the sign of a police saying. officer. If you said, hey, this is my property, you need, and I just left, and it turns out you were a wanted murderer, I'd look like a real idiot, wouldn't I? Would you like it if I did that to your family? Your wife called me and said, there's a guy Are you, walking around over here scared somebody me. somebody accuse me of murder? No. You know what? The more I talk to you, the worse you get. I think I'm done talking to you. We're just going to go run your fingerprints. I don't, I don't uh, consent to any searches. Well, you're going in my car, so you are. And yes, I know, you're going to post that video and you're going to sue me and everything else. No need to tell me. Okay? So if you want to get this over with, and tell me your name. If you tell me the last you will, time I'm going to ask if you. If you tell me that you will let me go, if I give you my identification, I will give you my identification. I don't know that I should let you go. I really think well, right now you might have some mental health problems, and I think we might need to go see a doctor. Would you like for me to stop and tell your wife where you're going? No? Okay, well, you stare at me then. I don't care. Do you want somebody to tell her? I would like to call her. Well, that'll happen after we figure out who you are. In order to do that, I'm going to have to run your fingerprints, and it takes a couple of hours. So after you sit there for a couple of hours waiting on your fingerprints to come back, then, sir, if I give you my identity, will you... Well, you let you've had about 10 chances to tell me your name, and you ain't done it yet. I asked you, I also asked you, I don't care what you ask me, I'm asking the questions, not you. You need to lay off the, the, the YouTube stuff, because all it's doing is making it worse, man. Officers arrested Mr. Jones and took him to the Pope County Detention Center, where they confirmed that he owned the property and was not trespassing. Despite this, Jones was processed and cited for obstructing governmental proceedings for refusing to identify himself. According to county records, a hearing on the charge was scheduled for December 14, 2021, but Mr. Jones failed to appear or pay the fine. This resulted in the addition of the charge of failure to appear, a Class A misdemeanor.